Situated 12 kilometers outside Nana, in WA's beautiful southwest, Blackwood River Clinic is a day patient facility that provides a range of treatments for anxiety, depression, trauma, and addictions. This is a, a new enterprise. It's the first of its like anywhere in Australia. The vision is to create a sanctuary in the bush of mindfulness-based therapy for people with mild to moderate mental illness. People with depression, anxiety, trauma, or even drug or alcohol, provided they have detoxed and recovered sufficiently from drug and alcohol so that we can start to investigate the traumas and the underlying psychological issues that are driving their drug and alcohol use. We've been running a little while and what we've noticed is that the therapy is more intense here and people get outcomes that they wouldn't get in other settings because of the solitude, the mindfulness, the creative flow and the high quality of the therapy. The other element is an experience of community and another element is the experience of the countryside with meditation, disconnection and detoxing from your normal life to make the mindfulness go deeper. Uh, the best part has been the sense of community, that no one was judging me and everyone was on a different journey, but we all understood each other and came together as one. You really do find yourself doing things that you normally wouldn't be doing back in, um, in the city and the experiences that you can get or the feelings and emotions you can get from those types of activities um, are just so different for me. The rural setting will get unexpected and deeper outcomes, not because the therapy is different but the ambience creates an energy. People think oh it's just the bush but there's something about the quietness and the lack of distractions that allows you to go a lot deeper into your processes. You become more aware of things that you don't become in an urban setting. So if you're in Perth and you did three hours of therapy, what happens is after those three hours, you tend to go and watch TV or pay some bills or go on a social outing, have a drink, and the energy of those three hours gets dissipated into the flux and flow of your normal life. That doesn't happen here. People are here from between two to four weeks or longer if necessary. So each day builds on each other's day and it becomes more intense. The way the therapy is integrated with nature, the whole setup with that it's a quiet, serene place and also the staff the respect, the knowledge that you can gain and the sense of building, I like working in a community, working together, um, problem solving and very much not being judged. Having our therapists on board day in and out as well allows us to see them as human beings because we tend to forget that during that one hour that we spend with them in the city, um, they also have feelings and families and things that they would like to express. And uh, being with uh, my other friends, as they have come to become, um, was enlightening because we all had different experiences, yet there was that empathy and compassion and love for one another, and you didn't feel judged whatsoever. There's a psychiatrist who oversees the whole program. We have psychologists, social workers, occupational therapists, nurses, medical practitioners, and then creative art experts. Um, we encourage people to do farm work, to do physical exercise, to do nutrition. Uh, we have artists, so it's not just a question of removing traumas and difficulties but encouraging people to develop spontaneity and flow. I've also noticed I'm starting to do things I normally wouldn't do like go for a walk, <laughs> walking, exercising, meditating. I know it's only three hours from Perth, but I thought, well, what if I don't like it within the first day or two, or 
I don't like the people that I'll be sharing accommodation with and spending day to day. But my reservations were unfounded because everything has been okay. I mean, don't take it wrong, it hasn't all been smooth sailing because there's a lot of therapy going on. But it's felt so comfortable being me that I have I had no fears whatsoever showing the real me and opening myself up to people and vice versa. An important part of the Blackwood River program is the development of social skills, organisation planning and self-confidence. Once a week the patients are taken by bus into the southwest community to develop these skills. It also provides a break from the complex group psychotherapy. Normal day is easy. This is not a Buddhist meditation retreat or a Christian uh, retreat where you sit in silence and you eat just bread and water. No, we've made it easy for people. So a, a day starts at nine o'clock. Um, people come over to the clinic, they sign in, they have a cup of tea, they sit around and chat. Then we have a three hour group therapy session in the morning. There's a break for morning tea and then there's a break for lunch. After lunch, people have individual one-on-one -on -one sessions and concurrently the art sessions run. The art sessions meaning yoga, relaxation, meditation, uh, fabric design, art design, art therapy, aromatherapy, or farm work. Well, first thing I do, I wake up at about 6.30, uh, go for a leisurely walk, um, which is about uh, a K and a half, to the gate and back. Get ready for the day, have my breakfast, and then we have therapy in the morning with one of the therapists who's um, on site. Uh, that covers a range of issues, um, so we have a debrief about how we're feeling and what we'd like to cover for that day. So the program is not set in stone, and I enjoyed the fact that we could think outside the box in terms of the schedule and still achieve the same goals. You can come here for two weeks and do a mindfulness CBT course for your anxiety or for your depression. Now that is routinely offered in the major urban centres for two weeks. So instead of doing it in an urban centre, you might wish to do it in this very beautiful place here for two weeks and you'll get the same or probably an improved outcome because of the lack of distraction. Then we think there's another group uh, that would really benefit and those are people that still have residual depression, residual anxiety that is not fully responding to the standard measures. And for all the reasons I mentioned earlier, coming down here to the clinic for a month would be able to push through that residual depression and anxiety. Now trauma is an interesting question, that is complicated takes a long degree of therapy usually and people uh, tend to evade the experience of their trauma through various techniques such as distraction, drinking, shopping, destructive relationships. So removing yourself from those pathological coping mechanisms, evasions coming down here exposes you to the treatment and we can get better outcomes. But again, that's a slow process because that's a difficult area. Uh, it helps them with addiction in multiple ways. Uh, firstly, they can't get access to any of their substances. Secondly, by doing the therapy, we are trying to reduce or ameliorate some of the triggers. But these are the multiple ways in which it can help addiction. But this is not a place where you first come to with the addiction. You have to firstly be detoxed and have a reasonable degree of sobriety and a reasonable degree of psychological awareness before you should come down here. This is my second time here. Uh, first time I only was here for a five nights uh, a few months ago and I wasn't ready at that time, so I went back to Perth and spent some time at Abbotsford Hospital as an inpatient, uh, which therefore gave me some clean time and uh, rehabilitation. 
using, obviously, uh, that really started to affect my self-esteem and I didn't feel like I could uh, remember what my good uh, qualities and traits were. Uh, but I've, they've come back whilst being here and that's really, really nice. And I've, I'm starting to remember the good things that I have to offer and about myself. Blackwood River Clinic is licensed by the WA Health Department and it's accredited by the Australian Council of Health Standards. That means that this is a very professional organisation and there's supervision from statutory bodies so that anyone that comes here as well as their families should know that there will be professional treatment and accountable treatment so safety is paramount and our first consideration. This is one of the very important foundation principles for this clinic, to try and be as professional as possible, have the best staff, the most beautiful setting, and make it available for your average Australian. And the only way to do that is to put it through private health insurance. Because in Australia and other parts of the world, there are private retreats, where people have to pay themselves and they are very expensive and only available to the elites. Or, or then there are the non-government organisations and they usually provide drug rehabilitation but for the most part they lack the skill, the personnel, the training to attend to the mental illness components. So we didn't want to work at that level, we didn't want to work at the elitist level, we wanted to work here and make it available to your average Australian. I would say pack your bags and really come because where in the world, and I've got even goosebumps saying this, where in the world would you find a beautiful place with very trained therapists who are real people, who are respectful, who listen to you, who love and nurture you. I feel so, so privileged that we have this wonderful facility. Firstly, it's not a prism. <laughs> Secondly, you can have contact with your family. Thirdly, the therapists are very skilled and they take things slowly. It's not a bulldozer approach, it's a very skillful, uh, nuanced approach. Fourthly, we give breaks. You go out on the bus trip twice a week. And then fifthly, the afternoon sessions are not intense therapy, they're more creative flow sessions. So I tell you everybody, do not be afraid. Yes, you've never had the experience of going on a meditation retreat or spending a long time away from your mobile phone, your Xbox, your friends, but believe me, it'll be a key experience in your life and it'll be one you won't forget and you will get very subtle benefits going forward. Do not be scared.